And now it's time for our daily arts and culture segment. And of course, for that, our Im Yoon Hee joins me live in the studio. Now today, she will join us for a closer look at a French artist who's known for his uh, living drawings. So let's find out what that is. Good afternoon to you, Yoon Hee. Good afternoon. So uh, before we head into our discussion, you would have to enlighten me and some of our viewers who do not know what this living uh, drawings are. Right, so these living drawings refer to huge steel cutouts that this French artist uh, Bernard Vinet does create. Now, he has been shown all over the world, and his works have been brought here to Korea with an exclusive look at some pieces that have never been seen before. So let's take a look. He's an artist who takes inspiration from something rather unexpected. Bernard Vernet looks to mathematics for his ideas, as he feels the two are beautifully related. His large steel creations have been seen in some of the world's most recognized museums, as they're considered avant-garde and of genius design in the field. They're all part of his Grib series, a collection of abstract scribbles he's been producing since 2011. And where it might look like complete chaos, comb through each piece and you'll see that mathematic figures, angles, circles and arcs can be found in every inch of his creations. It, it's a problem because it's terribly heavy, uh, not easy to handle, uh, dangerous also. But uh, I think that the result is giving me some satisfaction today. He's 73 years old, but shows no signs of slowing down, eager to share his 30 pieces of work, some of which have never been displayed to the public. From the same country, the land of art, come six more abstract artists. To some, it might look just like a few scribbles and blobs, but these artists are on the pioneering edge of their field, always discovering the new and the potential. A simplistic approach to the canvas sometimes inspires more ideas, but in any case, the variety of rather unique pieces are available to view here in Seoul. Now, uh, Yuni, uh, tell us more about uh, the first artist that we mm -hmm. saw, the French artist uh, Bernard uh, Venet, how he created his uh, steel works of art. Mm -hmm. So he is very well known for these steel works. Um, so what he actually does is he creates hundreds and hundreds of sketches, and from there he chooses a few that he likes, and he'll actually project these onto huge steel sheets and cut them out from there. And that's where he says they become alive, because they go from these 2D sketches to these 3D huge just, uh, creations. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think I, I do uh, recall seeing him in Korea before. Is this mm -hmm. his first time? So he's pretty popular here in Korea. He has been here uh, three times before mm. this. Um, in 2007, he was first brought to Korea uh, to show his, I guess, math mathematical artwork. Some people were very impressed by that. And so in 2010 and 2011, he was brought back. And this time, uh, for the first time, he's showing his steel works here. Now, uh, what about the, let's move on to the second exhibition with mm -hmm. the uh, six artists, I believe. Uh, right. uh, tell us more about that. Right, so these artists, uh, they really embody the sense of tradition Art, traditional art that you see in France. You know, France is known for so many of its artists, mm -hmm. um, its styles and techniques that came from that country. Uh, so these artists, they embody that, but at the same time, they also are contemporary artists, and so they go for a more contemporary approach um, with contemporary styles. And so these artworks are very neat to see. You can kind of see um, the influences from the past, but you could also see how the present uh, style of work has really changed. So uh, French artists and French art pieces, that seems yes. to be the key word. Uh, today and a lot of those works are being exhibited here in Korea so uh, mm -hmm. we should all go check it out. Mm -hmm. All right well thank you so much for that report. Today. Always a pleasure.